Hello and welcome back to your own channel Career Swami which helps you with your career journey. We are here to do an in-depth review of Oracle. The intended audiences are freshers and experienced people interested to learn about Oracle. Moving on to the agenda. We will cover entire Oracle review in two parts. This is the first part where we will talk about Oracle and its employees, people, attrition, from where did Oracle get its name, history, market cap, revenues, key people, competitors and much more. Part 2 will cover ratings and reviews, layoffs and on-site opportunities and is it worth joining Oracle for freshers or experienced people. Please watch the video till the end to gain complete insights and find out if it is worth joining Oracle. Ok, let's begin. We make educational videos about companies, technology trends and career options to help you propel your career. If you are coming to our channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Moving on. What is Oracle Corporation? Oracle Corporation is an American multinational computer technology corporation which specializes in developing and marketing database software and technology, cloud engineered systems, CRM, SCM and enterprise software products. Oracle ranks 82 in Fortune 500 list. Its third largest software maker by revenue, after Microsoft and Alphabet. Revenues are around 40 billion USD. Headquartered in Redwood Shores, California. Oracle has a customer base of over 430,000. Oracle has more than 18,000 patents worldwide. According to Gartner, Oracle has 46% market share in databases after the acquisition of MySQL. So, what does Oracle name mean? Dictionary meaning of Oracle is prophecy, prophecy is a message that is claimed by a prophet to have been communicated to them by a god. Legend is that Larry Ellison and Bob Miner worked on SQL project for the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency in the USA. The code name for the project was Oracle. After the project, Larry and Bob saw the opportunity and started and marketed it. They retained project's code name Oracle to name their RDBMS engine. Talking about history. Larry Ellison co-founded Oracle Corporation in 1977 with Bob Miner and Ed Oates under the name Software Development Laboratories. Ellison took inspiration from the 1970 paper written by Edgar F. Cott on relational database management systems named a relational model of data for large, shared data banks. In 1979 SDL changed its name to Relational Software and also launched first commercial SQL. In 1982 renamed itself to Oracle Systems Corporation to align itself more closely with its flagship product Oracle Database. In 1986 the company had its initial public offering and also launched client server DBMS. In 1987 Oracle became the largest database management company in the world. In 1995 Oracle Systems Corporation changed its name to Oracle Corporation, officially named Oracle. In 1996 Oracle moves towards an open standards-based, web-enabled architecture. Ellison met with more success with his early embrace of the Internet. Oracle developed products that were compatible with worldwide web technologies, which helped the company to grow along with its acquisitions. In 2005 Oracle acquired PeopleSoft for approximately $10.3 billion. A month after the acquisition of PeopleSoft, Oracle cut over half of PeopleSoft's workforce, laying off 6,000 of PeopleSoft's 11,000 employees. In 2010 Oracle acquired Sun Microsystems who in 2008 bought MySQL for $1 billion. So, Oracle got MySQL along with Sun. In 2016 Oracle acquired NetSuite for $9.3 billion USD. In its history. Oracle lays claim to buying scores of companies, including high-profile multi-billion dollar purchases of PeopleSoft, Siebel, BEA, Sun Microsystems, and NetSuite which has helped Oracle reach the place where it is now. Ok, let's talk about how employees are distributed in Oracle. Oracle has a workforce of around 137,000 employees worldwide. In America, there are around 60,000 people followed by India which has 40,000 employees. EMEA has around 28,000 employees. 
gender diversity is quite average with only 29% women in Oracle. Now, moving on to market cap. Oracle has a market cap of 182 billion euro. It's on consistent growth after the dot-com bubble burst. Talking about locations. Oracle has a vast presence and operates in around 175 countries. Speaking about revenues. Oracle revenues grew year on year till 2011 but afterwards the revenues have been stagnant as we can see from the chart. Ok, so who are the key people in Oracle currently? Larry Ellison is chairman of Oracle Corporation and chief technology officer. He founded the company in 1977 and served as CEO until September 2014. Mark Hurd is the chief executive officer of Oracle Corporation and a member of the company's board of directors. He joined Oracle in 2010 and have more than 30 years of experience. Safra Katz has served as chief executive officer of Oracle Corporation since 2014 and a member of the company's board of directors since 2001. She previously served as president of Oracle and has also served as the company's chief financial officer. Now, how long are employees staying in Oracle? Employees are staying in Oracle for an average duration of 1.89 years. Oracle is on number 3 with Facebook leading with 2.02 years and Google with 1.9 years. If we go with the numbers, people like Oracle a lot. Talking about who are the competitors of Oracle. Some of the major competitors are SAP, IBM, Salesforce, Microsoft, and Amazon. Part 2 video on Oracle will cover ratings and reviews, pros and cons, interview experience, layoffs, travel opportunities and advice for freshers and experienced people on if they should consider joining Oracle. Part 2 video can be found in the description or channel page once it's out. If you want to practice interviews or consultation from the people working in Oracle, please contact us at the website careerswami.in or at the mobile number flashing on your screen. Thank you. Please subscribe our channel so that you don't miss any of these videos. Please let us know in the comments section about your view on Oracle.